Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about LGD4033 and we're going to go over the Chimera Kims brand product. So this video isn't for Chimera Kims, it's for the LGD4033. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. My experience with LGD4033 is less than with some of the other SARMs. Back when I was using a lot of the SARMs real heavily about four or five years ago, LGD4033 was extremely popular and I did get some proven peptides right before they got raided and shut down. Unfortunately, I didn't get enough from them to run a full cycle. However, I did see a lot of size gain and strength gain, not so much on the strength gain, but more so in size from the LGD4033. Overall, I would compare it to kind of a DECA look as far as you're getting that big bulky look. And a lot of guys are liking to use that in the fall because that's the traditional bulking time of year, right? A lot of guys are running bulking cycles right now. They're running DECA and TEST or they're running some tests with some LGD4033 or in Clomiphene and LGD4033. Keep in mind, if you're running LGD4033, you do need some kind of testosterone base underneath of it or something to keep testosterone production intact throughout the cycle and to maintain testosterone production after the cycle is over because it is very, very suppressive of natural testosterone production. So if you don't have something in there, either replacing your testosterone, you know, as a complete ancillary, whatever, like uh, an injectable testosterone, then you're going to have some shutdown provided you're not running something like enclomiphene to keep testosterone production up. So you got to be very careful with that, right? Also running a PCT of something like enclomiphene and or HCG is going to be important for getting tes testosterone production back up on top after you're done with the LGD, okay? So let's hop over and look at the Chimera Kims product. All right, so this is the Chimera Kims website. Yay. They have LGD 4033 in three different forms. They have capsules, they have injectable, and they have a liquid form. And you can choose each of those right here at the drop down. You can see capsule, liquid, and injectable right there. If you scroll down the page a little bit further, it'll give you some information here on the overall product as far as like the cast number, blah, blah, blah. This is what a lot of guys are wanting to see. So this is the certificate of analysis. I had somebody comment the other day on a video and ask, how do you know that what you're getting is actually what it says on the label? And this is how, this is a COA. It's called a COA, it's certificate of analysis. It says that right across the top here, certificate of analysis. This is from Vanguard Laboratories. So there's the company information right there, compound information, and then you can see that there's a picture of the product that they received, the powder. The result was a 98.54% purity, which is excellent. Now, purity is good, right? What most people are concerned about is the amount that's on the label. And Chimera Kims has always been good about having at least as much in the product as what it says on the label. So if you're wanting to see this product and the COA that goes with it, it's right here on the website. You just go to the product LGD 4033. And it's right here in the picture. There's product picture. There's the COA. That's what everybody is concerned about. This is really popular this time of year because it is bulking season for a lot of people. And so guys are running LGD 4033 a lot of the time with enclomiphene and then following it up with either an extended cycle of enclomiphene as the PCT or switching over to something like HCG or adding HCG in with the enclomiphene. So if you're new to this, that's kind of confusing. This is not a directional video on how to use this product. I'm just telling you what guys are using right now. This product is very popular at the moment. And generally speaking, this time of year, LGD 4033 is very popular. Other compounds it could be stacked with, although I don't advise stacking it with RAD 140. A lot of guys do. I think it's better stacked with something like Osterine or AC 262. It's one I personally wouldn't stack a lot of other compounds with because it is very powerful. It's very suppressive. It will occupy a lot of the androgen receptors, and therefore you're going to have to do a lower dosage of it if you're going to be adding in other SARMs, at least that's my own opinion. And if you're running it with testosterone, it's my opinion that it's better to run a lower dose of testosterone while you're on a SARM, especially with something like LGD or RAD, because they occupy so many androgen receptors, you're going to be ending up with a higher free testosterone level that's going to convert into things like DHT, which, the, which can then cause side effects like hair loss or possibly even convert to estrogen. This is why some guys report having estrogen side effects while they're on a SARM. It's not because of the SARM, necessarily it's a side effect of the SARM because the SARM is occupying androgen receptors and freeing up testosterone and they're taking too much testosterone while they're on the SARM and it's converting into estrogen. So hope that really helps you guys out. Hopefully that didn't confuse you all too much. Thank you guys for watching these videos. Thank you for subscribing. Hope I earned your subscription today if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.